Hey guys, welcome to Mind and Pop Thrift. It's Tom and Evie. Say hi, Evie. Hi. Um, this is weird. We're about to go into Goodwill. They open at 9 o'clock. And the, that door has been unlocked by, an e, by a Goodwill personnel for about 10 minutes. And we're all still just, like, we're all still sitting in our cars waiting. And I don't really want to go in if it's going to be competitive, like seven or eight cars ahead of time but i just thought it was really funny that the guy came and unlocked the door 10 minutes ago and nobody's rushing the door so hopefully we find some stuff let's get into it there's paw patrol yeah. Oh, all kinds of little Paw Patrol books. Baby, you would make a mess out of that before we even got it to the register. What? All right, I'll get you a book. Yeah, so these, uh, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine in the, uh, he's in a tea bed. And then there's a bunch more clubs, so for 10 bucks, that, that's going to be 75 or 80. Do you want to look at the toys? Let's see, make sure we can't find any cool vintage. Um, Halloween stuff, but I don't see any. Whoa, looking at the toys. Tupperware cake thing for two nineteen. So you guys saw the golf clubs and the Canadian Mist mirror. I don't know if you picked up on these shape ups or not, but they are five ninety nine and they're in really nice shape. And then we got four shirts. This is Chambray Big Ben made in the U.S. I don't know anything about this one, but it's only three ninety nine. Jewelry vintage cool pattern made in the U.S. This is a Callaway polo, and it just doesn't. It's three ninety nine. Yellow's half price, and it doesn't have any other markings on it. Just Callaway. So that's probably a twenty dollar piece. And then this is a Slytherin hoodie from Universal Studios, and so I think that's probably a twenty twenty five dollar piece, and it's. $6. I'm not totally sure what I got for footage in there. Um, there was a whole lot of people because it was super early and the store just opened and they just piled up at the door as soon as the place opened. And I'm like, I don't get that. We just happened to be in the neighborhood with 10 minutes to spare and she asked me if we could get breakfast. So I'm like, yeah, and we'll sit in the Goodwill parking lot and eat it. I would not show up it doesn't even make sense to show up at goodwill um right when they open because what is there is stuff that was picked over yesterday it's not like they're stocking the shelves after they close so you're not getting the best pick just because you're there first thing in the morning so let me interject here and say that i didn't realize that today is the last tuesday of the month and so our goodwills do a two dollar on all clothing items i don't think i would have picked up anything else but the stuff was all two dollars and that's why there was a crowd this is better kind of i'm way off frame um evelyn's got her face in the frame say hi abby um so what i was saying is it doesn't make any sense to show up at 9 a.m when goodwill opens as a general rule because what is on the floor is stuff that was picked over last night and like 9 30 they start pulling racks out from what was 
what was donated yesterday. And so it makes more sense to wait. And so I'm believing that we're going to stop at this other Goodwill in town and it's going to be a little bit better. Not that I need anything, but I just felt like getting out of the house. I actually need to go home and do some shipping. So that's why we're even shopping this morning is because I had to go get some boxes because I got a bunch of big stuff. So, um, one more Goodwill and then home to ship. One more Goodwill just to see what happens. So these are like MMA fighting, Ring of Honor, I'm not a wrestling. DVDs, and they don't have barcodes on them. So nobody scanned them, they're sealed. Daddy, and this one, I will probably get. This one, the discs leave from me. So I don't Daddy, think it's worth getting. Moana? No, that's not Moana. It's professional wrestlers. Okay, so I don't think there's anything here. What is that? Raiders Triple A. I wonder if it's like minor league baseball. Kobe 16. Canadian. That's weird. Well, that's a really good piece. Hockey hoodie. CCM. Six bucks for sure. On my book. Help me. So this is really weird. These uh are the exact same shape ups at the next store for $6.99. I think they're a smaller size, but they're definitely the same thing. These are Durango brand. And they say crush on the bottom of them. They also say $14.99 on the bottom of them. There are sold comps from $40 to $60. So I think I'm going to grab those. I don't see anything else on the shoe rack. I was thinking about these Air Maxes, even though they're missing the laces. Actually, that lace is broken. I didn't notice that. But what I did notice is this is not holding it. So these are junk. Don't buy Air Maxes if that thing's punctured. Please. Piano, $20. But that's not the Goodwill price, right? So why did they leave that on here? Yamaha, I'm not shipping that out. If, I, I mean, if it'd be a hundred bucks, I'm, I'm not messing with it. Daddy. Daddy. Field and stream. I wonder what's in here. Oh, geez, a giant light. Eleven dollars. No. I often in this store find some weird stuff in this aisle that's worth picking up. I don't see anything that catches my eye right this second. Monkey? I think it's a, a this thing? Yeah. That's not a monkey, it's a puppy. And it's glass and you'd break it, so I'm not gonna give it to you. It's now. That's interesting. Daddy, I can't. I can't. 276. This is one of those spots where I guarantee you there's money to be made, but I don't know enough about it to make the money. So I ought to move on and leave it to somebody else. That's an old one. And all of these are actually kind of old. How about popcorn poppery? $5.99, it's missing the butter one. My toy. I hate to sell them incomplete just because you don't know what the person on the other end is gonna use it for. I almost walked out of the aisle without seeing this Sony for six dollars and ninety six cents it's a dvd recorder rdr gx 360 so i grabbed that for sure so this is nightmare before christmas and it's 26 inch tall hanging thing and it's part of their new inventory like it came from target or something because that's what that gray indicates and at 4.99 this thing comps for like like at least i think it's at least 40 dollars. i couldn't find one sold by itself but in a little groups he seems to be selling with one or two others for 100 bucks so i'm at the pickup location for a hybrid auction that i want a couple of things i spent 26 bucks
folks, let's look at what we got. This is a Toshiba uh, DVD player combo with the remote. Who knows whether or not uh, it works, but I think I paid like six bucks for that. Paid $10 for this old train. I didn't realize it was missing a wheel because that side wasn't shown. But somebody's gonna want to restore this thing. Um, hats. I paid two dollars a lot for these hats. So this is one lot. Best Pro. That's junk. This Japan one is cool. I don't know if it's worth anything. Uh, this. Um, I couldn't see that particularly well. I don't know what year this was. Thirty-two. Um, logo athletics. I don't know if that was a bull's head, it'd be worth a fortune. I'll have to look and see. And then this is uh, John Elway vintage snapback, four hats, crop facts, nothing really. These are fat Alberts, uh, they're cool. I imagine they'll have some appeal. There's two of them. Um, this is the one that I bought the whole thing for because it's uh, just, if you're familiar with K hats, this is obviously a K hat. And that's probably a 30 or $40 hat once I get all this crap cleaned out of it. That one, early to rise, fish like hell, and make up lies. I, uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> this one is another Fat Albert Nissan and Top Gun C1 vintage snapback i don't know what that's referencing and then these two i know they were like they went for the opening bid of two dollars a piece I, i'm not even totally certain what they are i mean i know they're handy cams but you couldn't see model numbers or anything jvc grdvl 915u and it comes with some accessories and a really nice bag and who knows whether or not it does anything at all. Some more unopened tapes and the remote. Cool. For two bucks, those unopened tapes that are in there are worth picking that thing up. And then this one, kind of the same deal as the JVC. I think this one's a JVC as well. It is compact VHS. Uh, this one's not in good shape at all, but it does have more accessories. It's got batteries and chargers. Um, it'll be worth something. It has a different size tape that it takes. I thought it had the tape converter thing too. I don't know. We'll go through it some more. But for 26 bucks, between that 1K products and this remote for the VC, for the DVD VCR combo, I'm not going to lose money, and uh, I suspect I'll make quite a bit of money. I mean, that's the point. But I thought it was worth the chance. This is the first time I've ever done anything on high bid. I just happened to accidentally find it and saw that nobody was bidding on much of anything. Um, they had a Nintendo DS that ended up going for like $90. And I had a bunch of games with it and it was worth $90, but it wasn't worth uh, taking a chance on whether or not it worked. So uh, that's my high bid experience for today. So we're driving home from high bid and Asher says, dad, can you find a gas station? I gotta go to the bathroom right now. And I happened to know that we were close to a Goodwill that had a bathroom. So we stopped for a minute. Let's see if we find anything. So we got one more thing at the Goodwill and this will wrap up the video. Um, they brought out a cart of the new Target Discontinued like I found that one Nightmare Before Christmas and they brought these out. This is Nightmare Before Christmas. It's just a Sally statue. This is it's this was $2.99. I didn't look at comps on it. This is like a dancing Beetlejuice. Um, and he was $2.99. I didn't look at comps on him. These were, all the plush were 99 cents. I got three Oogies at 99 cents, four Oogies. They comp at about $14 a piece. I suspect the rest are similar. So that's Barrel, Sally, and the Mayor. And these were all 99 cents a piece plush. So if they're 15, then that's 
30, 60, 90, 120 if they're $15 a piece and I paid one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars for them. That was a fantastic 20 minute stop at Goodwill. Uh, I think that's gonna do it for the day. We've got soccer coming up here pretty quick and I've seen, shown you guys a whole lot of stuff. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. What are you eating? Kenny? Yeah. No. See you on the next one.